you are about to watch me commit a YouTube sin by showing you how to download Stable Diffusion's automatic 1111 web UI without a lot of useless exposition. Let's go. There are some requirements. You need an NVIDIA GPU with at minimum four gigabytes of VRAM and preferably eight gigabytes. If you're not sure, you can right click on your taskbar, go to task manager, come to the performance tab, go to GPU, and then you'll see your GPU listed here as well as the amount of memory down here. If you have less than four gigabytes or an AMD CPU, there are other options for you, but that is for another video. Once you know you meet the requirements, just search Automatic 1111 in Google, and it will likely be this very first GitHub link. Click it here. It'll look something like this. Scroll down until you see installation and running, and we are just going to be following this automatic installation on Windows. You'll need to download Python 3.10.6. It is important to download that exact version. Other versions may not be exactly supported. So 3.10.6. You'll have to scroll down a little bit and download the Windows installer 64-bit. Open the file you just downloaded and make sure you click Add Python to Path and Install Now. Back on the GitHub page, we also need to install Git. Open this link. You'll want the 64-bit version of Git. Download that file, open it up, and in all of these boxes, you can just hit Next. When that's done, uncheck View Release Notes and Finish. Once those requirements are met, we just need to install the automatic 1111 web UI. Go to the file location you want to install it. Probably make a new folder here. I'm just gonna call it SD, but you can name it anything. Then we're going to click up into the address bar and type CMD. A command window pops up and we will copy and paste this bit of text here, git clone, copy, paste, and hit enter. After that finishes, you'll see a new folder for Stable Diffusion Web UI. Open that, scroll down to web-user.bat and double click. The first time you run this, it's going to take several minutes, maybe up to 10, 15 minutes. So good time to go grab a coffee. That's what I'm gonna do. Once that's done, there should be a link right here with an IP address. Copy that, paste it into your browser, and congratulations, you've installed Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Make sure everything is working correctly. Put literally anything into this box and hit generate, and you should see a really crappy image pop up. You're good. If instead of seeing an image, you see an error pop up down here or in the middle of this screen, I'm gonna link below a, a FAQ that has a lot of common problems that you may run into. So you'll have to do a little debugging, but most likely you can get it working. There are two settings that I recommend to everyone to change. So let me show you those and then we'll be done. Go ahead and close out of the web UI. Open up your terminal and close out of that. This is what actually is closing down Stable Diffusion. Back in your Stable Diffusion folder, that same file we double clicked earlier, right click on it. If you're Windows 11, you have to show more options or hit edit. Open this up in any text editor, Notepad will do just fine. We're gonna change one thing here where it says set command line args, do dash dash x formers. And we'll also add at the top here, git pull. This is going to make sure that every time you launch this web UI user.bat is going to update automatically. Go to file, save, and then relaunch your web UI. You should see it say installing x formers and launching web UI with arguments x formers. If you have four gigabytes of VRAM, you'll most likely need to add this med VRAM. If you're getting an error during generation, this may fix your problem as well. If you're getting all black or green or some other color generations with nothing close to what you prompted, these set of arguments may help you as well. And for any other errors, copy and paste it into Google, Discord, most likely someone else had this problem and you can figure out the way to solve it. Please, YouTube gods, I beg your forgiveness for my cardinal sin of not wasting my viewers' time. However, if those viewers would like more videos about Stable Diffusion without wasting time, subscribe below. I'm going to make a lot more, and I'll see you in the next one.